Hey guys, thanks for coming out to my party. Definitely the most ticket party I can imagine any of the candidates having right now. Especially when we're pulling in 3% of the votes. So, right now, um, I'm going to declare, this is my victory party, right? So I'm going to declare victory in my in my campaign against Scott Walker in the Republican primary. Uh, right now, if I get no more votes, I will have already gotten two votes for every dollar spent. Uh, if Walker did that, he would get 50 million votes. <laughs> There's a campaign victory. I'm gonna, I'm putting it out there. Uh, I don't know the numbers yet, but I, I anticipate getting the, the most votes per dollar spent uh, of all the candidates, and we'll see if that comes in. Uh, really highlighting how I am a, a true fiscal conservative, and I spend. <laughs> So overall, um, ultimate goal was to defeat Scott Walker, and uh, while it looks unlikely, you know, we, we know that, that nothing is final until Waukesha finishes reporting, so I'm going to wait until all of Waukesha's numbers are in before I concede. Um, but yeah, my, my, the, the primary go the a, a major goal of my campaign was to use my candidacy as a platform to really highlight and expose Scott Walker's hypocrisy. He, he claims to be something he's not, and he's spending millions of dollars lying to the people of Wisconsin and, uh, and doing a huge disservice, mis misinforming the populace. And that yeah. will only hurt the state more than it has before. Um, so the moving forward, he's going to continue lying. He's going to continue spending millions of dollars to lie to us. And it's it's got to be our job to, to expose his lies and, and combat it with truth. So um, moving forward, I plan on I'm continuing to commit myself uh, to exposing Scott Walker's lies, to uh, highlighting the hypocrisy of his rhetoric, and, um, and exposing how his policies are failing Wisconsin. We, he claims that it's working. He's, he's repeating over and over again on TV that, that it's working. He's making the hard decisions to put Wisconsin back to work. He balanced the budget. You know, Bullshit. In, in fact, we all know this, but I'm saying it because there are cameras. Wisconsin, Wisconsin was the only state with significant job losses over the past 12 months. We had the worst job record in the country. That, it doesn't seem like that's working. I don't know. And he's, he, he, he balanced the budget. Our budget, our projected budget deficit is greater now than it was when Scott Walker took office. And that's because he doesn't understand conventional economics. When you cut, when you cut expendable spend, spending money to a huge portion of the population, they will spend less money, they will make less money, and they will pay less in taxes. That's exactly what happened. We brought in considerably less money than we needed to in state tax revenue because people we're laid off. People didn't have jobs and weren't paying taxes. So Scott Walker keeps lying, keeps saying, saying it's working. We know it isn't, and it is our job between now and the general election to get that message out there. The only thing standing in the way of Scott Walker being recalled is people being lied to. And if we can, if we can combat that with the truth and get people to really understand how how devious and how deceitful deceitful Scott Walker has been during this campaign and during his administration, uh, I have no doubt that Scott Walker will be recalled and he will be replaced by someone who is not Scott Walker. Our job will not end once Scott Walker has been recalled. There are still going to be legislators that are beholden to money instead of the people. We're still going to have to to protest shitty bills and, and make our voice be heard, force our voice to be heard. Um, and and throughout the next you know the next administration, hopefully we will we will maintain a presence and and force the will of the people to be the law of the land. We'll do so thank, thank you all for coming out. Um, as the numbers keep coming in, we will continue to update people on the votes per dollar uh, or, the, or, or in the inverse, the dollars spent per vote, um, like, a, uh, like a Hummer, how many gallons of gas per mile it gets. <laughs> Walker spends multiple dollars per vote, I get multiple votes per dollar. So um, I, consider, I consider my campaign a success. Uh, I, can, I, I consider myself victorious. Um, we'll see, we'll see who, who comes out of this election. Uh, but it will not be the honest Republican because there is only one Republican in this race, and, and I consider that. So thank you all for coming out. Let's party.
and that's hey, stop that. Oh, you stop that. <laughs> thanks, thanks so much for everyone who has who has helped me over this campaign. Um, we had to collect two thousand dollars over two thousand signatures. Oh, dollars I, signatures. Yeah, same same day. Day. We collected over two thousand signatures in ten days. I couldn't have. We used seven of those days to collect those signatures. I couldn't have done it with the overwhelming support that I got from people all over the state, mailing in sheets you know, with one or two or ten names on them. Um, I had a dedicated group of volunteers in Madison and around Dane County that that were uh, invaluable. Uh, couldn't have done it without um, you know dozens and dozens of awesome people. Uh, so we have accomplished an amazing thing so far. Uh, we will continue. Um, Let's recall Walker. Yeah!